everybody so today I wanted to show you Eli's nursery which is right behind me and how I've organized it because a lot of you guys either you know or you should know that uh, my and David's space is super super small and I everybody's like how are you gonna fit a baby in there how are you gonna fit a baby in there and this isn't the first time in my life that people have like questioned my ability when I was a teenager I made an entire bedroom out of basically a broom closet. So uh, I'm going to show you how I organized it. I know I watched a ton of nursery organization videos and a lot of it I was just like, meh, I could do better. So I'm going to show you guys. And so you walk in to our house and you're in our living room and Eli's bedroom. <laughs> Now, it may change as he gets a little older. Um, we are definitely going to have to redo some things, and the space is going to have to grow with us, with him, uh, which is a challenge I am super stoked and super excited. So, um, let me just start with the front of his room, and then I'll go around and show you different things. So, to the left, we have his high chair, and I have a few toys that I keep right there just for when I set him down the floor to play. They're just easy to grab. Otherwise... We open this up, Oops. and this down here is uh, more toys inside there for him. This kid is only eight months, and he already has so many toys, at least so many toys for this space. And I was telling David, we are now officially at the point where we bring in one toy, at least one or two have to go out. So um, I will be going through his toys, um, like age-appropriate stuff, you know, like uh, right now I want to focus on stuff that's colorful and bright and you know, educational, and then once he gets a little older, we'll start switching it up to, like, action figures and, you know, yada yada. But yeah, I don't, I've only used this high chair once. Um, I just feel like it's still a little easier to put him in his other chairs or hold him, but he is almost there. Almost there. As you can see, we got a map and a big globe, and, um, every morning I bonk his head on the globe. It's just like, um, it's like a little beach ball. It's just full of air. But he loves bonking his head on it. It's so funny. Inside his crib. Oh, David made this mobile, by the way. He cut and painted all these pieces. So the back is black. And then the front has all these little characters on it. And Eli just recently got to the point where he started looking up at it. Plays music. I'm not going to turn it on because I find it really annoying. I just, I don't like the music. I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's a bag right there. That's all of his blankets. And I have blankets in here. And this is his bed. Attached is the changing table, of course. I have had so much controversy over this little boy's bed and how he sleeps. He was always a belly sleeper because he come out literally kicking. This kid would not stop kicking all the time. Kick, 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 kick. It's like he has restless leg syndrome, like his father. Like it was just kick, 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 kick. Um, so naturally when I'd have him on his back, he would always kick and wake himself up, and he wasn't getting any sleep, nor were we. Mm. So I was like, let me just try it. And I was really scared because of everything I've, I've always heard. But the idea of him, like, getting sick or choking or vomiting or something and being on his back, that scared me more than him sleeping on his stomach. And David bought us a video monitor so that we can watch him. Um, so that was great. That was, like, one of the greatest things that we got. But um, he always moved a lot still. So instead of going and buying a bunch of pillows to line the, um, what do you call it, the crib, I rolled blankets really tight and really firm, and then I wrapped, put up pillowcases on it, and I wrapped it. So, um, as you can see, this one's coming undone. I left it that, like that to show you guys. Um, otherwise, I would just, like, meet them together and just kind of tuck them in like that. I did the same thing over here with the blanket. I did buy this one little pillow. We had a couple, but Eli, like, tore into the other one. So he uses a couple blankets. I keep that in there for him to play with. Yeah, he is definitely a belly sleeper. He has started to roll on his side. Um, it's usually only when he starts to wake up that he rolls on his side and eventually rolls to his back. And then, of course, as soon as he's on his back, he's wide awake. He's jibber-jabbering, and it's really cute. David installed that TV, too. These were David's contributions to the nursery. We both love Rugrats, and we hope that Eli will love Rugrats, too, actually. She's probably going to be starting watching that right now because he does like watching TV, so we got to get that going. But I thought it was cute that he, like, he bought those because, like, it didn't really go with the theme. Like, I wanted, like, this worldly travel theme, you know. 
but it's okay because I do like Rugrats. But we did get into a really big fight about how to hang those. He was wanting to hang it a certain way. I was like, ew, no, ew. It was funny looking back, but at the time I wanted to like, what are you doing to me? All right, so over in the corner is actually a big mess. David wanted this diaper genie, so I found it on Facebook from somebody and got it. Back in the back is his luggage and then just some other things stuck back there that we don't really use, but it's good to have just in case. He just got this walk-in toy for Christmas, as well as that little giraffe toy. Down in there is all of our extra wipes, and then in this basket is all of his books, which as you can see, he's got a lot of books too. And now I'm down in the floor. Um, the space is great for me and him to sit. Um, you can't really do much more. That's about all we can do. Uh, but it's great for him. He's just now starting to learn how to crawl. And he's been sitting up on his own. So it's easy for me to just stick him right here with some toys. Let him play. He's no longer falling over like crazy or nothing and hurting himself. So that's a good thing. But I'm going to show you under the bed. This has been like one of the best. Ugh. This has been one of the best storage things that like I was able to come up with. I got this uh, rolly bin. And this here is what I have. All of his sheets, some extra blankets. Uh, on the, the changing table pad. I always get confused when I say that. I, um, instead, like, okay, so the covers, when I went shopping for them, they were all this, like, um, soft kind of material and I was like what if he pees everywhere I don't want to be watching that it's like a plush like a stuffed animal I was like that's weird you know and then like what if he's hot I don't want to lay him on that and he's sweaty and you know like there's nothing worse than being hot and sweaty and laying on something plush it's just like ew no ew. so I just got pillowcases I went to the Goodwill and I got pillowcases for like 59 cents and I just washed them and I'm like hey and it works fabulously fabulously so I just got like pee pads uh Fitted sheets, a couple little blankets and stuff in this rolly pulley outy bin. And I have this here said cube from Dollar Tree. Uh, of course, it was only a dollar. It holds all of his little shoes. And then I also went to Dollar Tree and I got several vacuum sealed bags for a dollar that hold all of his clothes. So I've got a lot of his clothes. Um, I have some 2 and 3T. Not like a full wardrobe or anything, but um, enough to where I had to like pack it up and stuff. Um, like 18 to 24 months, I think. I think I've got quite a bit of that. And then after that, it's just kind of like sporadic. But this man has had so many clothes his life already. And I hopefully don't see that changing anytime soon. Okay, now, so the drawers to the changing table. Um, I actually really, really love this. I love that it's all together. Um, however, David did break it not too long ago. So, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping this bed set like I had originally planned. Uh, it might just get him, like, a little twin bed and add some kind of, like, railing to it. And, like, a little nightstand or something and just call it a day, like a dresser or something. But, uh, for now it's been good. It's been good this, this whole time. I do see, though, why people don't want to get these because they're not made quite well like I thought they would be. But, um, I mean, it works. It works for us. It works for the space. I like that it's, it is compact and everything can go into it because that's what we need for the space that we have. So, um, this here, actually my great aunt made for him, which I love it. Um, she made it and... By the time we got it, it was too small for him, so I just use it to, like, hang up here because I just think it's so cute, and it's got a little airplane, so it matches the theme. But inside here is all the diapers, and then back here I have just this little uh, canister of things like butt cream and Vaseline and stuff like that. And the second drawer here is all of his pajama outfits, like shirts and pants. This week, I have started the KonMari method of folding for all three of us. And it looks neat in the drawers. It's a lot neater. It's a lot easier to see. But it just doesn't work for us. because Well, it works for me uh, in the amount of clothes I have. It's not working for Eli or David. Um, they just have so many clothes. 
I originally started with folding and I didn't like folding just because the same reason Eli had so much and I just wasn't comfortable with the way it was folding. Like, I just, I didn't like it. So I switched to rolling. I love rolling clothes and it works best. It's not necessarily the best looking in the drawers, but rolling definitely saves space. So for instance, like the KonMari has it like this, okay? It's still pretty thick. Like it's still thick. Yeah, you can kind of see what it is and stuff, but it's it's crazy. So what I prefer doing is just let me see if I can bend you guys down a little bit. So I just like folding it inside, making sure it's folded, and then I just fold it up a little bit, and then I start rolling. And I just roll all the way up, make sure it's as tight as I can get it, and it's like that. It saves so much space like the KonMari method for one piece of the KonMari method like one piece of clothing I could fit two or three rolled items so it's it's not good if you want to like be able to see what you have and easily pick or whatever but I don't know I'm not liking it however I don't have the time or energy right now to switch it back to the rolling so I'm just leaving it as it is but we have all of his pants all of his long sleeve shirts, and then all of his short sleeve shirts. And then down here in the very bottom, which is kind of messy because I just went through it. This is all his uh, zipper sleepers that we have, which I really like those. There is the Brooklyn Bridge, which is one of my favorite, favorite places on the planet Earth. And then up there we have an awesome airplane picture frame that a friend gave us at the baby shower with his little... Um, pilot costume from the zoo and then his coat rack which he does have more coats they're just being washed and then this is the top of his dresser this year um, I put his little money in um, I did have a can but it was starting to rust at the bottom that's just a little thing that's got some cute little memorabilia in it this awesome airplane that my mom got a picture frame with his ultrasound pictures and this mug that my mom got um, and we just put the remotes in there to hold them. And of course, you always need your sanitizer. This is the dresser that my mom gave me. Oh, and he got that for Christmas too. He loves these blocks. Oh my God. He loves those things. I wasn't expecting him to like it as much, but oh, he loves them. Um, this dresser is what my mom gave me. So I'll just show you. Like I said, keep in mind, I've done the KonMari. The KonMari works well for the bibs. I really liked that. Um, everything else I don't like about it. But this is all his little socks, which I have to go through and I have to buy him new socks soon because his little feet are getting so big. And these are all um, burp cloths and then the bibs. This here is his pants. So I've separated it from like cotton tight pants and then blue jeans. So kids got a lot of blue jeans. And then this here is his shirt drawer. Now this is a little bit different. I still did the KonMari method. Like these are his long sleeves. These are his short sleeve onesies. But then these three piles here, like this is t-shirts and these are like button down polos and long sleeve shirts and stuff like that that have buttons on them. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not really feeling the KonMari method for David or Eli. For myself, it's okay. Um, I do prefer the rolling method. I think it's great for inside your drawers. It's great for traveling. It just, that's what seems to work for us and our space. So, it would be okay if we had, like, maybe more drawers or less clothes or more space or something. But, like I said, just rolling. I'm a roller. Uh, I'm a roller, so anyway, I love Eli's room. I think it's great. I I honestly am tooting my own horn when I say that I am super proud of his room and the way like I created the space for him and it just it just works out. You know, like it's it's perfect. Like it was scary in the beginning to think, oh my god, we're gonna have a baby, how are we gonna fit it? And once I had that idea, I was like, I got this, I got this. And I don't think David believed me. I think he was, like, scared for a long time until I started setting things up. And then he was like, I see where you're going with this. Okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> but um, this is his nursery. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Um, I just, I love it. 
I love it. I love my baby. I love my man. I love the nursery. I love our home. I don't ever want to leave.